Hey guys, it's LSD789 with another build video. I want to show you my melee Red Ringer uh, tank build for Apocalypse difficulty. Let's get right into it. I'm using the Matriox Insignia amulet, increasing melee damage by 35% and causing all successful melee attacks to restore 10 stamina. So yeah, when you use your uh, melee weapon, you're constantly regenerating your stamina by just hitting the enemies. So it's really good. I'm also using the Atonement Vault uh, ring. self inflicts bleeding status effect upon the wearer, causing 1.1 bleed damage per second and increasing uh, crit chance by 5%. I need this ring for a couple of reasons. One is uh, we're also using the Hardcore Metal Band. Take a damage adds one stack of Bulwark for 10 seconds at a maximum of 5 stacks. So yeah, because we're constantly taking uh, bleed damage, we're gonna have 5 stacks of Bulwark uh, all the time. So yeah, this one's really nice. Also using the Brawler's Pride ring, increasing melee attack speed by 15%. And with this build I'm not really using uh, charge attacks, I'm just doing uh, normal melee attacks. And this weapon uh, hits really slow, so just increasing that is really nice. Also using the Haymaker's ring, increasing melee damage by 0.2% for every point of armor encumbrance. And our armor encumbrance is at 90. So yeah, this, this one gives us a lot of damage. If you don't have this ring, you can also use the the Fey Warrior ring, uh, this one. But this one gives a little bit more damage. But yeah, this one's really nice. And for the weapons, it doesn't really matter, you can use any weapon. But for this, I'm using the Heatwave uh, mod. Activating a 15 meter aura of smelt uh, sweltering heat, causing enemies inside the aura uh, for 3 seconds, uh, beginning burning for uh, 750 fire damage over 5 seconds in the last 30 seconds. So yeah, this one just does passive damage around you. And I'm also using the pressure point uh, mutator, increasing this weapon mod's range and mod damage by 15% to enemies with, within 7 meters. Activating this weapon mod triggers a fixed 7 meter blast dealing 150 uh, damage per mod's power spent in a single cast and inflicts uh, staggered damage. So yeah, this one will do a blast and uh, it inflicts staggered damage. This, this one's really nice, the pressure point. I think it's a new uh, mutator. Then the start of the show, the Redbringer. Um, incoming damage grants awakening which increases melee damage by 5% per stack for 10 seconds and a maximum of 10 stacks. And again, you need to take damage with this ring, uh, with this melee weapon, and with this ring you take uh, passive damage, and that will stack it up uh, to 10 stacks, gaining you 50% uh, melee damage, and 50% is a lot. And then, to keep you safe, we're using the Shield Strike Mutator. Melee attacks grants a shield for 10% of the max health, at max 50%. The last 5 seconds. A charged melee attack deals 25 additional melee damage based on the current shield amount. But yeah, like I said, I'm not really using the charge attack, but uh, as long as you keep hitting, you gain that uh, max uh, max health shield. And uh, because we're, we're hitting quite quick, we're gonna max up the shield uh, to maximum really easily. And we're also using the nebula for base damage. Comes with a nano swarm, unleash is a swarm of nano uh, machines that seek after enemies within 20 meters and repeatedly attack, dealing 18 acid damage per hit and applying corroded, dealing 300 acid damage over 10 seconds, those last 15 seconds. So, this will just give you passive damage. Also, the corroded, uh, if an enemy is corroded, his armor class will be lowered, uh, making you do more damage with melee attacks, range attacks, skills, summon status. Anything will do more damage if an enemy is corroded. Also, I'm using the Harmonizer Mutator. The attached mod deals 20% additional mod damage and generate 25% additional mod power for the stowed web. So yeah, this mutator will just make your Nano Swarm do more damage and it will generate your mod power uh, back quicker. And for the armors, I'm using the True Crimson, Crimson Crown. If you don't have this one, I will link a video in the description how to get this. But it's mainly just for looks. We're using the Leto Mark II, uh, the Leto Mark I leggings, and the Leto Mark II gloves. And as, you, as you can see, we're at exactly 90% uh, weight. But yeah, you can use a full Leto Mark II set if you want. But I just like the looks of this. And we're at uh, how much DR? 76 uh, DR. Also, I'm using the Tranquil Heart. Passively grants 2 health regen per second. And on use, double all health regen for 15 seconds. So yeah, this one will just passively regen you 
You can also use the new uh, Profane Heart for passive lifesteal. I like the passive heal better. But on it I have the melee attack speed fragment. This is the normal uh, melee attack, so not uh, the charge attack. Because I like to just do the normal melee attacks. I have a damage reduction fragment and a melee damage fragment. So yeah, we're gonna hit quicker and hit harder with this uh, with these fragments. Let's go over the archetypes really quick. Using the handler as a prime. You can also use the challenger as a prime, but the handler has a revive on a shorter cooldown, only 90 seconds. So I like the handler as a prime. And it doesn't really matter if you go down, you have always a revive uh, available. Then for the skills, you can use any of these. Maybe the attack dog for the damage, the support dog for the heal, or the guard dog for the damage reduction. But I like the passive heal better. It's just a little bit of heal, but it's really nice. Then for the damage perk, uh, you get 30% ranged melee and skill damage. At 5% uh, ranged melee and skill crit chance. So yeah, that we're mainly focusing on the melee damage, of course. So yeah, this one gives you 30% melee damage. It's really good. You get 10% movement speed. Um, if you revive, you get damage reduction and revive speed. And if you use a relic, uh, your doggy will be fully healed, grants him damage and defense. The kinship trait is not really important. It gives you a friendly fire damage dealt and received a reduction by uh, 80. Then the secondary archetype is the challenger. And we're gonna use the juggernaut. Become nearly unstoppable, gaining 3 stacks of bulwark, 15% movement, melee speed and reduced stamina cost. Increasing melee damage by 50 and get stagger reduction by 1. So this one is amazing. The 3 stacks of bulwark is not really important, but you get 15 movement speed, 50 melee speed and stamina cost reduction. And you get the massive uh, melee damage boost and uh, stagger reduction. So if you do a melee attack if you, or if you do a use a relic, you can't get knocked out of it with that stagger reduction. It's really good. Also, it comes with a close quarters damage perk. Grants you 35% increased damage to all enemies within uh, 10 meters. But it tempers off uh, until 20 meters. And you get a bit of crit chance. So yeah, but we're going to be close to enemies anyway. So we're going to have that 35% damage to all. And the all damage also includes your uh, melee damage. And then it comes with a team perk. After activating uh, a challenger skill, enemies within 15 meters deal 10% less damage for 15 seconds with an additional 2.5 damage reduction per enemy. So yeah, you could do more damage to enemies uh, that are close to you again. It's really nice. You get a stamina cost reduction for each, each weight bracket uh, and stamina regen delay is reduced by 50. So yeah, this will make your stamina last longer. And then the relic perk, using a relic within 10 meters grants you 2 stacks of bulwark and 10% increased damage. And again, the bulwark is not important, but the extra damage is always nice. Also using the, we're getting the strong back trait, which lowers your armor class. It's really good. Uh, let's go over the traits really quick. Using the fortify maximum for the armor effectiveness. It comes with a kinship trait for the friendly fire reductions. Also having uh, 10 points in regrowth for the health regen, the strong back trait for the weight. Also have 10 points in swiftness for the movement speed, because we're going to be running all over the place. We need to be close to the enemies, and this is going to be perfect for it. Have only 6 points in triage for the healing modification, uh, 10 points in vigor for the maximum health. Then I have 10 points in bark skin for the damage reduction. Also I'm using the bloodborne trait. Summoner minions absorb 10% of the damage taken by the caster. So this means when you take damage, uh, your doggy will take 10% of the damage instead of you. And this, uh, this blood bond trait goes on top of your damage reduction. Because your, uh, the damage reduction is kept at 80, but this will go on top of that 80. Gain, uh, giving you even more damage reduction. Then also I'm using the resolute trait. This is a new trait from the Forgotten Kingdom DLC. You get this... Um, if you talk with Lydusa and uh, you get the Lydusa's curse, if you die with the curse, uh, you will be a stone statue. And if you kill that stone statue at least 15 times, uh, you get this uh, trait. This trait uh, reduces the hit reaction time by 25%. This means if you get staggered, the stagger time will be 25% lower. So you're less 
the time you are staggered is uh, lower. It's really nice. Also, I'm using the Siphoner trait, which gives you base lifesteal uh, of your damage. So yeah, you, you're gonna lifesteal if you do a melee hit. It's really nice. Uh, for this, I'm using the Meat Shake uh, concoction. You can also use the Maximum Health, the Mid Tooth Tonic, maybe the Bark Skin uh, concoction. So yeah, the Meat Shake is the best, I think. Show you a little bit of gameplay, how it works. After this, I will put in some gameplay fighting bosses. So yeah, you have the Heat Wave for your uh, Chicago Type Rider, which does passive damage. Also, the Nano Swarm will do damage. And before you do a boss, you want to use your Juggernaut skill, and then you just start smacking. You can also do the charge attack, but it just takes too long, and I like the quick hits. And when you do the quick hits, um, you're also gaining the shield, you see. And yeah, that's basically the build, just keep smacking, 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 that's all you need to do. And use your mods if you need them. Yeah, I hope you guys like the build. If any questions, write them in the comments. But yeah, LSD 789. Out. Hey. Hello.
the wrong gal. Ha <laughs> ha, woo! Hey! Your timing is fortuitous, Cub. It's been long since I've seen one of your kind. But then, what is time to a god? The things I think are spread over millennia. And our time here is short. It is your thoughts which concern us. Do you think yourself clever, Cub? Let me guess. You're here on a quest. An insolent tongue on this one. I like meat with fire. It tastes so much sweeter, but no matter, it would seem our destinies are entwined. Your timing is fortuitous. Walk with me, Cub. I will explain. The last of your kind left me for dead. That is when they found me, and offered me their enlightenment. Blind was I, until they opened my eye to the lies of permanence. Oh, the feeble empress craves her fruit, tries to guzzle immortality. But all things die, Cub. Even gods. Theirs is a mastery of death. The all that is nothing. And so I offer the choice they offered, Cub. Return to the ash from which we all came. Or break the yoke of balance and become eternal. But the bridge between ego and soul cannot be crossed without paying a toll. Here bleeds the lie. Here mules the old order. Shall seal our pact. Radiation of this. Yeah. 
Hi. Puny footsteps. The putrid smell of mortality. Another traitor. Or a wayward child in need of suckling. Tell me, who dares? Who dares disturb the one true king, Solitude? Speak, or lose your tongue! A mouse scratching at the foot of a god and king. You would be dead already were your feeble delusions of grandeur not faintly amusing. This will be your one and only warning. To show your king due respect. I shall not repeat myself, nor suffer fools. I have killed insects like you for less. My packs are adorned with such humorists. Putrid, disgusting, traitorous mortals! Two options, two paths. Such is your crossroads. If you wish to live, prove your loyalty by slaying the duplicitous lesser goddess Numue. Or raise your pathetic hand against me and your mortal suffering ends here and now. Which will it be? So be it! Make your peace, filthy mortal! An ill-gotten crown. That you would appear before me equipped as such speaks to insolence beyond the likes of even the savage fame! Such insolence comes at a price. Death and agony, rot and decay. That is all your puny future holds now, mortal. Come, I shall not sully my throne with your unworthy blood. Yeah. 